Welcome back, everybody. Patty Spittler is here, brought to us by Pet Pals TV with Dr. Happy Rob Shoemaker from the highly acclaimed, accredited, now internationally recognized Indianapolis Zoo. Patty's raising the roof over here. <laughs> I think this is wonderful. I just say I'm so proud of Dr. Rob and the zoo. And now he has a slash by his Thank name, you. too. Thank yes. you. I do. You Come are the... That. What I is it? I got an ampersand over the holidays <laughs> for Christmas. So it's president, <laughs> president and CEO. Fantastic. I know. Big news. Congratulations. Big news, Stewie. That puts you <laughs> in a position to really drive the zoo this coming year into some fantastic things. Uh, back up a little bit, though, and tell us what the headline is you guys already have, a new accreditation, recognition. Well, we do. We, we are collaborating with the IUCN, the International Union for the Conservation of Nature. Uh, it's the largest and most important conservation organization in the world. Wow. And uh, starting uh, now, in now, in January, we are opening the Global Center for Species Survival, a new department, a new center wow. um, at the zoo that will be focused on an international conservation perspective. Wow. So uh, we are um, oh. in the process of hiring the director for that Mm -hmm. center right now. Uh, we're accepting applications from all over the world um, and that will happen uh, this month and then we start staffing the rest of that department uh, and their job is going to focus on an international perspective on advancing conservation. Well, and as you mentioned species survival too, That's something right. that zoos are very passionate about obviously That's focusing right. on breeding programs and keeping our animals around right. for right. more and more generations right. and it's great that that's happening in Indianapolis because we do have a fantastic setup for some of these breeding programs. I love watching the, uh, the monkey videos here. <laughs> Thanks here too. To make, right. to make that big difference. That must just feel so great to be able to make that, that step forward. Well, you, you know, I think what you point out is that zoos have an essential part to play in conservation around the globe. In fact, as a profession, uh, we're the largest contributor to conservation on an annual basis. Hundreds of millions of dollars wow. coming from the accredited zoo community, zoo and aquarium community. And that only includes this year, 236 institutions in the United States and uh, a few outside of the United States. So it's an enormous amount of support yeah. coming from the accredited zoo community. Yeah, conservation and, and education. Mm -hmm. And right. we saw you there with the orangutans. You're, th that's your, oh, and there's the snake. And the snake I, too. I, I, I was going to say, I remember pythons. Patty's picture there. The, the python. <laughs> uh, well, you, you work. Uh, some of your work with orangutans, tell us what you've discovered, how smart they really are. Well, uh, incredibly bright, uh, and we do that work in front of visitors on a regular basis. Right. We want to engage people in the process, get people caring about orangutan conservation. Um, but we had a recent um, a uh, new paper that came out, uh, and it, to make a very long story short, a lot of people had thought that orangutans. <laughs> oh, there we go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, there we are working on some working, of the computers. Working yeah. together. All um, so we had uh, a lot of uh, scientists believe that orangutans and other great apes could not control their vocalizations. But. That it was all like. Uh, touching something hot and, and yeah, you know, react and whatever it, right. happens comes out. So um, w we know now that's not true, but we did an interesting study, and it was as simple as giving the orangutans uh, a kazoo. A kazoo. I right. yes. remember that. And I they do remember that. that. Isn't that amazing? So they're able to control their vocal cords and vocal Change apparatus that. enough. Yeah, yeah. I to love play the so much Terrific. more to learn. <laughs> oh, yeah. we, I'm just, I'm so proud to know you. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. I love Thank you. I want to go to the zoo right now. Thank you. Okay. Well, we're glad to be from Indianapolis and get to support that too as you guys get into a new season at the zoo. Thank you. So if you want to come to the zoo, we yeah. love that. Um, just so everybody knows, we're closed on Mondays and Tuesdays in January and February. Okay. okay. We're open Wednesdays through Sundays. Okay. This is one of the absolute, where are you going, Mabel? She goes, Mabel, I heard you're going to the zoo. We, I want to <laughs> go. Go see Dr. Rock. Come here. See this Rob. is some of the okay. best time of the year to come to the zoo. Okay. Um, because you largely get the place to yourself. Right. So the colder and more miserable the weather, the better a day it is to come to the zoo. Well, and you have, have so a, many indoor we do. exhibits too, we and, do. and ways to see outdoor oh, yeah. animals while you're indoors. That's one of my favorite things. Oh, I'm like, I'd love to see the polar bears just put me behind it, you know, put me oh. behind a glass. Well, you have a fantastic time coming this time of the year. It's also a great time to have a membership because mm -hmm. um, you can come as many times as you want, stay for an hour or two then come back as you feel ready. So I it's know. a great time to come and visit, especially during the cold, snowy weather. We, oh. we can't bring you in here without asking about the zoo expansion. We brought it up on daybreak several yes. times, of course. Uh, tell me real fast, what are you looking forward to this year as the zoo does expand? Well, we have a number of things. I'll do it really quick. We're opening uh, a huge, this is exciting. Stay, 
get ready, a new parking lot. Um, but it's going <laughs> to be. You'd be surprised. Yeah. The families are going, yes. This is going to be fantastic for visitors. That'll be opening. Uh, most importantly, we're super excited. Memorial Day weekend, we're already thinking about Memorial Day weekend. We're opening an expansion to our elephant habitat. Yeah. Oh, um, so oh you a, got my heart know, there. A new destination for the elephants. You're going to be able to get as close to an elephant as we are on the couch here. Really? It's oh. going to be exciting. Very, I'm very so, exciting. So yep, exciting. very, very exciting. Oh. That'll open Memorial Day weekend. We're okay. super proud of it. Um, there's construction fences up now, but people coming to the zoo can look over the fence a little bit and see it's pretty much finished. And get ready to see yeah, that. We will up be up ready Memorial Day weekend. It's going to be great for visitors, great for elephants. I'm super proud of it. We're going to love, love it. it. Patty, cheers. It. 2020. Isn't this great? This great. Uh, <laughs> coming up today on Great Day TV, we have uh, a lady who's also got a slash by her name oh. now, uh, Tamika Ketchings, oh, is now the awesome. yes. general manager Fantastic. of the Fever. Mm -hmm. So we'll have that coming up and on Great Day TV at 10 o'clock and also an update on, on my cochlear their implant so I want that update I'll be watching yeah, this. I know what, what? <laughs> say what, what? <laughs> fantastic Saturday mornings here on Wish TV 10 and 10 30 thanks for coming in my Dr. Pleasure. Robert glad to have you thank here thank you so much I'm glad to hear the zoo's doing so well thank you